undermanned by injuries. In fact, there is not a single healthy right winger starting tonight's game. But it is not the depth of players that will win tonight. It is character and talent. And certainly Canada showed a lot of character in that last game, bouncing back from a 4-1 deficit. What they want tonight is not to be in a situation where they have to come from behind. Here's our analyst this evening, Brad Park. Believe me when I tell you the Soviets were ecstatic with their first overtime win ever. But they were very shaky in the third period. Look for them tonight to come out with more discipline, sit back, and wait for the breaks. Canada has to develop the momentum. They can lose that momentum if they're in the penalty box. Look for good, clean checks tonight. Now upstairs to Dan Kelly with Ron Roosh. Over the years, I've heard hockey players say they play the best when they play scared, afraid of losing. And that's the situation that faces Team Canada tonight. Another factor for Team Canada, their power play has not been good against the Russians. They're only two for 13, and they've given up two goals against while on the power play. That has to change. Ron Roosh? Well, there's been a very big goaltending change for tonight's game for the Soviets. Yevgeny Bieloshekin is going to go between the pipes, replacing Sergei Milnikov. Abiela Shakin can be very, very good, or he can be very, very bad. The goaltending for the Soviets may be the story when this one is finally written in the books. And the starting lineups for Team Canada and the Soviet Union. Team Canada defending the goal down to our left, and there you see it with Messier at center. He'll start this game facing off against Igor Larionov of the Soviet Union. Larionov, Makarov, Karutov, Petisov, Kazatonov, and Howarchuk on the left side, Anderson on the right wing, Doug Crossman, and Norman Rushford for Team Canada. The referee again is 32-year-old Paul Stewart of the United States. And he's ready to drop the puck between Messier and Lariana. And away we go in Hamilton. Messier getting it over to Howard Chuck. Now back to Rochefort to Crossman. Ahead on right wing to Glenn Anderson who fires it in. Petisov back to get it. That's Howard Chuck into Portchuk, but Kasatonov Clears it out to Krutop, number nine. He just tipped at the center. Shot back in by Crossman, and Fatisov is there. To Krutop, back over for Fatisov. Spins from Howard Chuck, gets it to Makarov, to Larionov. Center, big save, pure early here. On that great try by the Soviets. Back is Howard Chuck to Messier, cutting in. Messier centered, Rockford down! Rushmore! Come on, Rushmore never scored a bigger goal. What a play as he came in. Watch number five. He'll move in. He'll be the extra man in the zone. They were not ready for him. Quite a play by Messier to set it up. Oh, just great. There it comes again. Now everybody's tied up in front, and Rush is the extra man. Kazatonov got turned around. He was not facing the shot. Norma Rush puts Canada in front after Grant Fuhr at the other end had made a very big save on Makarov on that great setup from Karutov. 43 seconds, the time of the goal. One to nothing, Canada, and that's what Canada was hoping for. A good start. Here's Kamienski. Tied up by Goulet. Held in by Murphy with a shot wide. Over on the other side, Gusarov. But it's held in by Canada. And Bekov, number 27, tries to fire it out of there and does. And Paul Coffey has to go back for Canada. Coffey giving it to Larry Murphy. Murphy playing it off the boards into center ice. Sutter had a break but couldn't control the pass. Stelno feeding Homatop number 15. Homatop moving in. Shoots one up high as it hit a stick. Beckoff in front. Homatop scores on the rebound. Andre Homatop number 15 ties it up. We're going to have to look at this one again to see exactly what happened to Grant Fuhrer on this. The shot deflected up high as he took a second whack. It deflected. Now Fuhrer got bumped. So he was slow getting in. He got all turned around worrying about Yemchinov. And the puck just bounced out in front. So Fuhrer wasn't paying attention. He 
elected to go after the guy who was in front, got an arm on it, but simply could not keep it out. But the contact in the goal mouth is what paved the way for that goal. The home top ties it up, and Canada's early lead is down the drain. Here's Perbukin trying to clear it. Jump Gilmore holding it in. Gilmore for Canada. Right in. Gets it in front. Mario Lemieux shooting. Gilmore a whack at it, and play is called. They rule it was hit by a high stick. And Gilmore and Lemieux combining beautifully. This is the Labatt. Canada Cup on CTV. Well, we get a penalty on that last play, and the goal most scrambled to Doug Gilmore for high sticking. Canada will be a man short. I thought it had been called because the puck had been hit by a high stick. Well, it looked like in the middle of all of that, the, the save was made also by Biela Shaken. Well, Rossmore scored from Messier and Howard Chuck at the 43 second mark. 34 seconds later, Homatop tied it from Beckoff. And now the penalty to Gilmore and the Soviets with the man advantage. Soviets took good advantage of their power play situation the other night when they went two for six. And that was one of the big reasons for their victory. Canada shorthanded, clearing it down the ice. But Tisov, number two, is back to get it. He and Kassatone off the point men with Krutov, Makarov, and Larionov up front. And here's Krutov. Around to Makarov. In behind. Krutop trying to center. Krutop. Jacked by Bork. Krutop trying to get it to Makarov. Makarov. Plays it off the board. Stellarianov back to Kasatonov. Over to Fatisa. In on the other side to Krutop. To Makarov. Back to Fatisa. To Kasatonov. To Fatisa. Soviets with the man advantage. Fatisov cutting in. Still controlling it. Number two, Fatisov. Side of the net to Krutov. Tried to center, hit the back of the net. And that gives the Team Canada defenseman Bork a chance to get it and clear it out. Canada change on the fly. 50 seconds left in the penalty. Kasatonov. Number seven. Headmanning it to Makarov, but off his stick and cleared away by Rushmore for Canada. And Fatisov has to go back. That's prop in for checking. Now Homatov, number 15, who scored the goal, starts out for the Soviets. Homatov couldn't go in because Bekov had been pushed in offside on the play. So he circled back. Here's Homatov feeding one ahead, intercepted by Hartsburg and cleared down the ice. 15 seconds left in the penalty. Good penalty killing here by Team Canada. Lead pass out to Kamiensky, number 13. Kamiensky to Beckoff, number 27 to Homatop. Gretzky intercepts. Back comes Gretzky. Gilmore back out of the penalty box. Canada carrying in. Rossport to Gilmore. Tricky scores! Doug Gilmore! And Canada leads 2 1. I think Rossport thinks he's Bobby Orr. Wash four with a goal and an assist, both times moving in from the point. From Kingston, Ontario, Doug Gilmore, now a pivotal man with the St. Louis Blues, and he gets a biggie right after coming out of the penalty box. Look at it again, and Rushmore is the man, but Gilmore lets a great shot go, looking for that corner. So Canada takes the lead again. Here come the Soviets right back, firing it in. Copy back for Canada, trying to clear it out of there. But Dotop with a drive, pure a save. Murphy can't clear the rebound. Now gets another chance in Canada with Lemieux to center up. Here's Big Mario trying to go around for Dotop. Bellow shaken, trying to clear it. Goulet on the boards. Couldn't hold it in, but drops it back to center where Coffee beats Murphy. Murphy flips it in. Bellow shaken played that carefully. Now Gretzky or Lemieux into four jet. Here's Murphy at the point. Puck knocked down by Murphy. Cleared in and hit for Dotop. number 14 firing it out. 
And Murphy has to go back. Murphy over in his own zone for Coffey. Back to Murphy again. Out for Anderson. They get it to Coffey at center. Paul Coffey trying to move in. Coffey flipped it in front. Fellow shaken clears it. Into the corner. It's Croft. Croft centered. Lemieux in front to Anderson. Anderson checked by Semyonov. Centered. They'll get a penalty to Semyonov for hooking in Canada will have a power play. This is the Labatt Canada Cup on CTV. Soviets with a four against three power play here. They are 0 for 1 on the man advantage situation tonight. Doug Gilmore, Canada's only forward. Rashford and Crossman on defense. Here's Bekoff getting it. And the Soviets drop it into their own zone. Kasatonov in to get it. Gilmore in to try and tie him up. Gooden and Homatop breaks out. Homatop number 15. Homatop stops at a dime. Centers to Bekoff. Back to Kasatonov. That's a tone off over to Fatisov into the side of the net. And Rashford breaks it up and is able to clear it to the line but held in. Bekov, number 27. Leaving it there for Kasatona. To Fatisov. Return to Kasatona. Fatisov shoots one. That hit someone in front of the net and bounced wide. And then Doug Gilmore comes up with it for Canada. Gilmore, number 28, trying to stick handle in. Kasatonov tied him up. And back comes Bekov. Bekov in for the Soviets, leaving it for Semyonov. They drop it back to Kasatonov. Shoots, hit the post. Big rebound. Kasatonov stopped by Fuhrer. Canada can't clear it. Now, two of the penalized players back on. Fatisov has got the quick. And then poked away by Rushford. Fatisov holding it in to Semyonov. Shooting and pure a stick save there. Here's Nimchina. Back to Patisa. A drive. Back to Flex one. Back to Soviets on a power play. 35 seconds. Left in Messier's pedal. Back to Semyona. He scores. No goal. Says the referee. No goal. I think a man in the crease. Oh, my goodness. Yellow Shaken must have thought he stood alone. Down at the other end, Fjord made five big saves all in a sequence. The goal was waved off by referee Paul Stewart. Watch the people in front of the net. And finally, it was backhanded past Grant Fjord, and the referee calling it immediately. He's also giving out penalties to Crossman and then Chinoff on the play. Here's the play. Watch the traffic. Well, now you see, the rule is if you're pushed into the crease, and I think he was the Soviet player, then, you know, that's rub of the green and the goal would stand. Well, I think he had called the penalty before the puck was in the net, and that that may be. That may be. And Chinov gets interference. Ever seen such a pace to a hockey game, Dan? Not really. It's something else. 8:39 left in the period. And I'm not sure that Grant Fuhr or Bellow Shaken have seen such a pace either. No. Still a power play for the Soviets, four against three. Messier still with 20 seconds left in his penalty. Here's Batisov. In to Krutov. Over to Gusarov. Back at the point. Batisov trying to center. This Krutov with it. And Gretzky comes back. Has Bork with him. Gretzky just dumping it in. Batisov back to get it. Messier's back on. Each team a man short. Here's Krutov. Leaving it for Makarov. To Krutov. Centers it in front. Shot just wide of the net. As the point man had moved up Gusarov and he was wide open but missed the net. Each team a man short now as Bork intercepts one. Into Messier. Messier centered to Gretzky. He's upended in the slot. And Gusarov starting back to Makarov. Makarov to Gusarov. Centers. Krutov trying to center it. Both wide. Here's Makarov. Tied up by Hartsburg and Gretzky back to get the puck. 
Gretzky to Gartner. Gartner moving right in. Gartner in front to Gretzky. Gets it to Coffey right in. He took. He scores! Paul Coffey! Gartner had trouble controlling the puck. That's why he didn't let the shot go. So he unloaded it. Gretzky then an almost an impossible pass. But he got it to Coffey. Coffey with a terrific move. Here comes the pass up. Gretzky wasn't ready for it. Got it and quickly unloaded. Right out of the stick of Coffey. It's almost like Gretzky had quit on the play. If you'd ever say that about Wayne Gretzky. He was telling him, feed it back. Get the deep man. Well, he got it to him anyway. Three to one, Canada leading on the goal by this man, Paul Coffey of the Edmonton Oilers. Here's Coffey, each team still a man short. They get it to Mario Lemieux. Going back for Dotop. Now Canada's Lemieux centered, but Semyonov feeding it out into center ice. Here's a chance, Semyonov a drive and a stick save there by Pure. Gartner trying to clear it. Perpukin held it in. Perpukin shot. Stopped by Pure. Soviets with a man behind the net. Will Mackin against Rochefort, and they hold it there. And we'll get a face off in Team Canada's end of the ring. Canada three, Soviets one. Shots on goal in the second period. Dead even at five apiece. So Canada playing some defense to go with that bonded offense they show in the first period. Well, they're showing the best team defense that I've seen them show in the play in the uh, tournament. Again, this is all part of just becoming a team overall. Here's Krutov for the Soviets. Trying to center. Krutov in the grasp of Crossman gets it in front. Pinching in from the point. Batisov penalty coming up to Canada. Delayed penalty coming up. Here's Karuta. Back to Batisa. Moves in and then as Messier gets possession, play is called and a holding penalty coming up against Team Canada and against Doug Crossman from the Philadelphia Flyers. Paul Stewart has refereed just part of one game in the National Hockey League. There is what he saw and what he called. I think probably he dead on with his call. Crossman going for two minutes on the holding. The one game he refereed was a game in which he was had started the evening as a spectator at Boston Garden and Dave Newell got hurt during a game between the Boston Bruins and the Montreal Canadiens. Now, if you want to start your NHL refereeing career, I think there are easier teams to referee against and easier potential games than the Bruins and the Canadiens. Had a goal he called back in the game. He had a tough night, but he persevered. Here are the Soviets with the man advantage. Makarov back of the net. Trying to drop it back. Kasatonov returns to Makarov. Now to Patisa. He flips it into Krutov, but a good play by Rochefort. And Rochefort now beats Gilmore. Trying a quick pass to Messier. That's broken up. Dub Gilmore, number 28, back to Rochefort. He picks an opening and fires it down the ice. Gasatona. Into center ice to Larionov, leaving it for Gasatona. Flipped around. Muir missed it back of the desk that skipped on him. Now Batisa, shoot, they score! Batisa from the point, and the Soviets click on the power play. Deflected shot. I don't know who was out in the high slot, whether it was a Team Canada defenseman or a Soviet player. Here comes the shot. That's Kazatonov. No, that's Larionov, who's in front of the net. Here comes the shot, and that went off, I think, a Team Canada defenseman in front. But he's off with that low shot, which is a very deflectable kind of a shot. And Patisov is likely to get credit for it. Patisov does get it. 29-year-old veteran and heralded as their best defenseman and one of the best in the world. Soviet score on the power play and have cut Canada's lead to three to two. Patisov from Krutov and Kasatonov. 12-11 the time. Here are the Canadians with Bork firing it in. In is Lemieux, an open net. Fellow Chaikin got back in there and robbed Lemieux. 
Bellow Shaken went a wandering and almost got burned, but slid out to save the day on Lemieux. Get Guinea Bella Shaken. I think maybe Mario Lemieux will be seeing this one in his dreams. Bella Shaken coming out from behind the net. He'd gone back there to clear the puck and it bounced off. The boys came right to Lemieux at a yawning net to shoot at. Bella Shaken quickly back in. One give uh, Lemieux credit. He was trying to bury that shot. He was really blasting it. Here's Telno from the faceoff. Back of his own goal. Gretzky tried to steal it, but Gusarov. Gets it into center ice. Here's Beckoff moving in, but that play offside. Homatov, number 15, in ahead of the play offside at the Team Canada Blue Line. They tell you, tell me they nicknamed him the Rat in the Soviet Union. <laughs> it reminds people a little bit of uh, Linsemann. Uh, he's a very small but shifty kind of a forward, very much like Beckoff for the Soviet team, but he's been in the Soviet Major League now for seven years played in the 81 and 84 Canada Cup so this is his third time round here here's Canada with a one goal lead now carrying his Hartsburg into Gilmore tipped it in but broken up and shot back out by Ferbukin cleared back in by Canada and now Fedotov back to get it to Semyonov number 30 Semyonov rips a long one and it's handled by Buer. now Hartsburg controlling for Canada Less than seven minutes to play in the second period. Canada can't get it out. Now they will as Gartner intercepts. Here he comes with Sutter. Gartner rips a drive. Caught by Bella Shaken. And he was halfway to the blue line by the time they whistled that one down. And Sutter had him lined up, too, with that puck in his hands. And Gina up against Messier. Messier getting the draw. They drop it back, but Murphy couldn't hold it in. And Bork has to hustle back. Over to Murphy. Out on the left wing side to Messier. He drops it back to Murphy again. Murphy loses to Nemchinov, but recovered and is able to clear it. And Fatisov has to go back for the Soviets. His clearing pass knocked down by Priyakin, but cleared away by Murphy again to Howard Chuck to Anderson. Anderson. Pulled down by Nimchinov, and there'll be a penalty there. Here's Bork for Canada. Into the corner on the delayed penalty. Giving it to Howard Chuck. Centered and tipped away by the Soviets. That stops play. And Nimchinov of the Soviets, number 12, will get a holding penalty right here. Here it comes as trying to move in was Anderson, and he just wrestled to the ice tempo of this game is what's causing a lot of these holding penalties and so on. Speed the forwards are managing to build up coming through center ice. They're turning and getting a lead pass and they're on the fly coming in on the defenseman. Canada with a power play coming up right here on the night. Canada 0 for 2 with the man advantage. Coming into this game tonight by the way Canada with a 25 percentage with the man advantage. They were 8 for 32 coming in. They need a goal right here. The Soviets have stayed right with them despite the large margin of play that Canada had in the first period. And Gina, by the way, gets his third penalty of this game. How about this power play? But Makarov breaks away. Coffey chasing him. Here's Makarov, and Coffey headed him off. Speed against speed. Here's Makarov to Kruta. He moves and scores! Short-handed goal! And that's the Soviets' third in three games against Canada. And it ties it at 3-3. Well, they got the two of them inside the zone controlling the puck, both Makarov and Karutov. Now the defenseman will start to chase a little bit. Great effort by Makarov right here. Goes right by one defenseman. Now watch the defense start to chase a little bit on Makarov, who's... They're cheating just a little bit, and he got that angle. He spread him out a bit. And what a wrist shot that was. Right under the glove of Grant Fuhr. Grutov getting the goal, his seventh of this tournament. A shorthanded goal. And that's their third shorthanded goal in three games against Canada. 
Canada still on a power play, but now it's all even at three apiece. Here's Hartsburg off the boards to Anderson. Into center ice to Murphy. Murphy winding it around on the boards. Goulet into the corner. Now Gwen Anderson. Anderson gets tied up. Makarov and Anderson fight for it. Hartsburg held it in. To Goulet. Goulet trying to center. There's Gusarov trying to get it up. Murphy held it in. Into the corner. For Dale Howard Chuck. Fired it in front. Knocked away by Batisov. And now Makarov trying to work it out of there. Held in by Goulet. This shot blocked. Goulet has to hustle back as Makarov is after the loose puck. And Hartsburg takes over. Hartsburg tied up Kutov on the play. Now Makarov will carry in. And Howard Chuck has it for Canada. 38 seconds left in the penalty. Here's Dale Howard Chuck giving it to Larry Murphy. Cross rink to Hartsburg. Hartsburg trying to center to Gretzky. Into Lemieux, they center. Goulet a whack at it. Rolls through the crease and Beckoff has it. He's shot. Now Gretzky at the side of the net. In front, Lemieux fanned on it. Here's Mario Lemieux. Into the corner for Messier. Batisov trying to clear it. Bork held it in. Beckoff blocks it, and here's a two-on-one Soviet break. Now three-on-one. Hovatov in front to Beckoff. Tip wide. And again, the Soviets, just at the tag end of that penalty, had a dangerous chance. Now Lemieux trying to steal it. He can. Goulet overstates a buck, and back comes Beckoff. Beckoff with Homatop now leaving it there. And Bork third it, and here's Gretzky with Lemieux. Two-on-one break. Gretzky to Lemieux. Score! can do watch it go by Gretzky going to his forehand feeding it over Lemieux here's the big green unit for the Soviets out there again Larionov, Rutov, Makarov, Masatonov and Fatisa on the faceoff Canada winning the draw with Messier and Rochefort fell on the play. Anderson comes back to bail that situation up. Anderson pinned in there by Makara. Now Karutov in as well. Anderson trying to hold them both off. And then he just fell and fell on top of the puck. Well, Glenn Anderson, who's had an uphill struggle in this tournament. He was hurt during the training camp. Didn't open the, the tournament. And then when he started to play, he just looked terribly slow. The knees coming along really slowly, but now he's skating at full speed, and he's very effective out there, especially working with his teammates, and he's out there now with Messier. Messier against Mariana up on this faceoff. Messier wins it, and Duck Crossman controls. Rossman trying to fire it out for Messier. Goes all the way down, and Fatisov chases back to get it for the Soviets. That's Anderson in for checking. Our Chuck knocks it back in for Canada. Kasatonov takes Our Chuck out. Fatisov cleared it. Knocked down by Messier, but he couldn't control it. Now Anderson holding it in. Shot wide. Howard Chuck into the corner. Kasatonov. Big, strong Soviet defenseman, and the Soviets break out of there. Here's Karutov. Crossman skating him off. Knocked back of the goal, and Rochefort is there for Canada. Rochefort got it to the line, but not out. Now they do clear it out, and here's Gusarov, leaving it for Fatisov to Karutov. Rutov stick handling beautifully. 
still has it. In front. Oh, and Peckoff shot was blocked, and here's Gretzky. Quickly to Prop. Prop tried to get it back, but Kusarov knocked it down. Now a lead pass to Gretzky. Still no is there for the Soviets. To Kaminsky. Number 13. Kaminsky. Into center ice to Homata. Homatov moving in to Beckoff back and he scores! Beckoff ties this game at 4-4. Great backhand shot. Always the most difficult shot for a goaltender to handle because of the angle that comes off the stick. Here comes the shot, and nothing fewer could really do. Nice play in front, and here's the backhand. And he picked the short side on it. Terrific backhand shot. Pretty good effort there as a puck is cleared to the wing. And we've got a tie hockey game. On the top, we'll get an assist. Assisted by number 15. Now Canada with Mario Lemieux in control. He's up there with Gilmore and Gartner. They dump it in. But no top there to clear it back out. And Canada has to chase back. Here's Ramo Bork. Bork passing to Lemieux. He gets tied up. Murphy trailing on the play, moving it to Mario Lemieux. Lemieux cutting in. Got it in front. Now Gilmore into the corner. Number 28, Gilmore for Canada. Back of the net to Lemieux. Shoot! Hello taking the save. Gartner couldn't get the rebound shot away. And the Soviets clear it. With Bork back to get it to Lemieux. Over to Gilmore. Semyonov intercepts that. Up cleared back in, and Gilmore was trapped in there offside in the play. 4-4 four, four here in the third period. This is the Levant Canada Cup on CTV. So Gusarov for hooking at 9.52. Canada 0-2, oh 0 oh for 2 in the power play department in this game. They desperately need one now. And they gave up a shorthanded goal to the Soviets earlier. They're third in as many games, so that's a factor because of how dangerous these Soviets are, even when they're shorthanded. Here's Mario Lemieux. Back to Bork. Shot the flex. Comes to Gretzky. Gretzky to Bork. Side of the net to Lemieux. Back to Bork again. Over to Coffey. Coffey to Lemieux. Back to Bork to Coffey. Shoots. Bellow shaking the same rebound. They score! for Canada. Gives it to Glenn Anderson. Anderson having difficulty. Rochefort there to cover up. And here's Rochefort stick handling up ice. Into the Soviet zone for Rochefort. Back of the net for Dotop. Quickly clearing it out. And it's taken by Howard Chuck. Back to Crossman. To Dale Howard Chuck. He gets tied up at the line. Howard Chuck continues to battle. But now back off to Homata. Here's Homatop, number 15. Shot blocked at the defense and then kicked out by Bork. Held in, another shot blocked by Bork. And Bork clears it to Anderson. 
Anderson firing it in. Brent Sutter in to get it. Bellow shaking, clearing it around. Back off there. Sutter in to hammer him. Here's Delno. Over in the other corner to Gusarov. Fires it out into center ice. Murphy for Canada. Bekoff takes over for the Soviets. Pass goes into center ice and Bork fires it back in. Here's Gusara. Long lead pass. Misses everyone. Goes the length of the ice. Bork back to touch it. Icing against the Soviets. 8-11 left in regulation time. 5-4 in favor of Canada. Well, the thing you ought to like about what's happening right now on the ice is Canada is trying to hem them in their own zone. Difficult to score from there. Some great forechecking. Sutter in the middle of all of that. And Mike Keenan. Yeah, this crowd, if there's anything going to give them the extra adrenaline they might need, because I'll tell you, it is a tired Team Canada right now. This crowd may be that little extra spur. They are really on it. The last goal, Mario Lemieux from Gretzky and Coffey at 10-14 on the power play, their first of the game, in which they've been successful. Here are the Soviets with Semyonov, number 30, moves in. Shot blocked by Crossman, couldn't clear it. Now Samak back of the net, Gretzky there to check in. And prop beats Lemieux, one-on-one -on -one against Batista. Here's Big Mario, trying to move in, gets tied up, looking to pass it, does, prop right in. Shoots. Bellow Shaken the save. Another shot. And Bellow Shaken stopped back. Good chances there for Canada. Here's Crossman back in his own zone. Over to Coffey. Back to Doug Crossman. And he flips it in. Batisov back for the Soviets. Over for Perbukin. Out to Bekov. Coffey intercepting. Coffey to Murphy. Murphy off the board. Shot into the Soviet zone. Batisov back to try and clear it. Now Glenn Anderson bumping in there. Anderson trying to come up with the puck. Does to Murphy. Big shot. It's blocked and the Soviets break out. But Bork comes up aggressively to knock it back in. Here's Perbukin. Ahead for Bumalat, number eight. Less than seven minutes to play. Long shot. And it's cleared by Fjord to Anderson. Going back is Bork. Out to Goulet, who's able to take the man out of the play and let the puck get out of there. And the Soviets, Spadota, clearing it. Here's Gilmore for Canada. He just flips it up near the Soviet line. Verbuchen cleared it. Gilmore intercepts. Drops it back to Murphy. Murphy firing it in. Digging in is Mike Gartner. Gartner to Sutter. Sutter back to Gartner. Back of the net. Into the other corner. Gilmore against Spadota. Gilmore. Holding it in. Gilmore trying to get loose, but Dotop took him out. And Makarov has it for the Soviets. 16 left in regulation time. Good play by Gilmore to break up a Makarov rush. Cleared back in. Now Lariana feeding it across. Shot into center ice. Here's Makarov for the Soviets. The crew top to Makarov. Tipped away at the defense. And Canada come back. Gartner trying to break out of there. 5.46 left in regulation time. Rochefort for Canada. Canada with a 5-4 lead. They dump it in. Delno back to get it. Howard Chuck into four check. Howard Chuck against Delno. Now Stelno but the other side and Gretzky's on top of him. Lemieux coming up with a Gretzky. Gretzky shoots wide with a big slap shot. And the Soviets take over and start to move out. Stelno into center ice to Homata. Homata checked in the play. And Canada, Howard Chuck cleared it. Now it comes back to the blue line. And Bork for Canada fires it to center. Here's Gretzky. Five minutes left. Gretzky with Lemieux. Pass to Lemieux. Over top of the net this time as the puck went on in. Corner to Gretzky. Bekoff intercepting. And the Soviets clear it out. 4.45 left in regulation time. What action here in Hamilton. Oh, this is just wonderful. 5-4 Canada leading. Kaminsky for the Soviets. Leaving it for Lomakin. Good play by Messier to break it up. And Canada come back with a lead pass to Prop. To Anderson. Shoots. Stick save. Bellow shaken. Round on the boards for Messier. 
He couldn't get it. And Homatop beats Beckoff. Now to Lomacken, back to Beckoff. 4.15 left in regulation time. Soviets. Samak shoots one. Saved by Pure on the short side. And Brian Prompt for Canada cleared at the center. Kasatonov has it there. Clearing one. Here Semyonov moves in, shoots. Pure the save, rebound. Frostman just tipped that away. And then Canada clear at the center. Makarov with a pass. Coffee breaks it up. Three on two, Canada break. Coffee moving in. Tried to center, but it was offside at the Soviet line. What action here on Hamilton. This is the Labatt Canada Cup on CTV. Five minutes approximately without a whistle. And look at this. Here's Gretzky. Lemieux chipped it over top of the net. How about this one from the other end? Pure. One of the few chances the Soviets got. I'll tell you, you won't find a better period of hockey to see a team protect a lead. Canada almost perfect when it comes to the defense right now. Here's a loose puck with Mike Gartner trying to break in. Priyakin checks in. And Priyakin fires it in for the Soviets. Fewer back of the net. Fires it up high on the glass. And Canada able to carry out with Larry Murphy. 325 left in regulation time. There's Gartner in to try and get it. Soviets break out. It's Priyakin. Two men back for Canada. Priyakin trying to move in. Murphy stares into the corner. Centered. Nobody could get a stick on it. Still no. Back of the net. And it's taken by Gilmore for Canada. Out to Brent Sutter. Back to Doug Gilmore. Gilmore flipping it in. And the play is offside. Sutter jumped the gun on the right side at the Soviet line. Three minutes left in regulation time. Well, it's almost as you look at Brent Sutter head for the bench. These are the guys, of course, the Sutters and so on, that are charged with trying to keep the Soviets off the board the rest of the way. We have now watched a full game on an overtime and almost a full game here. And what has been decided? These two teams are so close. There's Krutov shooting it in for the Soviets. Brian Prop there to fire it back up. And the Soviets, Larionov, will go back, and this is going to be icing against Canada. 2.46 remaining, and the Soviets with a key faceoff coming up in Team Canada's end of the rink. Well, we'll see who takes the draw down in the Team Canada end. They've got the Larionov line out there. I want to bet that Gretzky comes out. Well, I'd say Messier. He, uh, Messier is. he hops out there against Larionov. That's right, yeah. Now, this will be very big face off with 246 remaining. The one thing that Canada did the crowd got going and Canada got going after they got the goal. It was almost like a shot of adrenaline because the team that was dead tired suddenly really picked it up and took it to the Soviets in their own end and that was the key to it. And at this stage. Canada's Messier does the job, wins the faceoff, and Frostman trying to get it out of there, tipped it on the boards, comes back to Doug Frostman. Now fired by Messier to center ice. Here's Makara. Bork breaks him up. Or that rush up at the blue line, and here's Howard Chuck flipping it into the Soviet zone. Batisov back to get it. Makara into center ice over to Krutov. Krutov diving, checked by Howard Chuck. And then Murphy comes up with it. Couldn't clear it out, but it is carried out now to center. And here's Howard Chuck. He couldn't control it. Now Anderson trailing, intercepting one. Anderson centers, knocked away, and the Soviets clear it to Kruta. Two minutes left in regulation time. Home top, spun around by Howard Chuck. Canada coming back with Messier, firing it in. Here's Gilmore shooting off the blocker. Uh, fellow shaken and. Now Lemieux in there to try and steal it. Here's Gilmore charging in. Soviets break up. Back off, but Gretzky is there to back check. Here's Podotov trying to carry in. And Murphy stands his ground, and then the play is offside at the Team Canada line. 1.32 left in regulation time. Larry Murphy, they're all the defense playing well right now, but two patterns have followed the last couple of nights, and one of them is 
The defense tightens up, but the other has been some terrific play in the third period for Team Canada by Doug Gilmore. What a third period he has played defensively. It's almost like he has, uh, you know, stronger legs than the rest of them. He hasn't played as much as some in this tournament. He's out there now discussing strategy with Wayne Gretzky. It's Gretzky, Gilmore, and Lemieux, the forward line. Canada clear at the center, but Dotop trying to shoot it back in. Rochefort is there to clear it. Gretzky tipped it, and they rolled him off a Soviet player, so there's no icing. 120 left in regulation time. Here's Becca. Gets to center. Trying to clear it. Gretzky back checking. Got it to Gilmore. Gilmore flipped it into center ice. Here's Demianski trying to break through. Shoots. He scores! Demianski with a brilliant goal. Ties this game up with 104 left. Oh, what a goal. The defense didn't play the match. On this they got backing in and Kaminsky just got between rush for it I think it was Crossman in there but this great speed and he just got a little bit of a march tried to tackle him Crossman came across but then Kaminsky just fighting his way past what was almost a tackle by rush for you got to give him full march oh yeah yeah oh yeah Came with 104 left in regulation time. Assisted by number 27, Beck off gets an assist. As does Perbukin, but it was mainly the brilliant individual effort of Kamiensky, who was the hero of the second game at Rendezvous in Quebec City. Just knifed through the defense. He was he got such a good jump as he got that puck and he just split it. And does overtime loom once again. Soviets, by the way, have called the timeout here. A goal came at the 1856 mark. Barbukin and Bekov from Kamiensky. Rush four and Crossman. He got around. Well, three guys trailing on him. That was just individual effort. with 104 left in regulation time. Messier against Lariana. Canada from the faceoff controlling it with Crossman. We're in the final minute of regulation time. Flipped in at Petisov. There to beat it to Makarov. Now to Karuta. He moves in. And knocking it down and carrying back up for Canada. This Crossman flipped in. Soviets quickly fired right back out and Krutov picks it up. Krutov to Lariana. Lariana moving in, trying to center, did, but Krutov was well in check. Now Patisov at the point. His shot wide. 25 seconds left. Coffee to Murphy. Canada break away. Gartner was in the clear, but the pass knocked down by Patisov. Patisov playing it up the boards. Near the Canadian line and Murphy. Shoots it back in. Kasatonov is there. Now Gilmore for Canada. Eight seconds left. Flipping it in. Batisov there to wind it around on the boards. And it's Krutov clearing the center. We will have sudden death overtime for the second game in a row in this final series between the Soviets and Canada. And credit a brilliant move by Valery Kamiensky to tie it with 104 to play and send it into overtime. Here we go with sudden death. Messier winning the face off, but it's immediately into the Soviet zone. But Tisov trying to clear it. Bork held it in. Now Anderson in on the boards. But Tisov goes back the other way to Kasatonov. To Makarov down right wing. Makarov moving in, leaving it there. Here's Krutov. Put it in front and Dior came out and Krutov tripped over. Back on Canada. Here's Anderson moving in on right wing. Glenn Anderson to Messier. Messier back of the net. Messier trying to drop it back, and it comes into center ice. Mark Messier to Bork of the Boston Bruins for Team Canada. Now to Anderson to Messier. Messier in with Lemieux, and they whistle that down on an offside. Lemieux 
in ahead of the play over on right wing. Just a step as he got a little over anxious. Messier coming in over the line. You'll see short chips. Good chance, of course, anytime you see Makarov and Karutov out there. And Karutov with that speed got around the defense. Bork just leaning back, tried to get enough of a stick on Karutov's stick to prevent any play. And Buck wound up in the corner. You see the scoring leaders topped by Gretzky with 18 points. Here are the Soviets firing it around in the boards. Gusarov cleared it in. Loose puck in front, but as soon as the Team Canada player touched the puck, the play is called in an icing call, and it will come back down deep into the Soviet end of the ring. Well, we mentioned the fatigue factor during the third period. There is a stretch there where Team Canada did not look fatigued at all. As a matter of fact, it looked like the Soviets might have been fatigued. Would think and the longer we go in this, I think if Team Canada had its brothers, they'd like to get the goal early. Gretzky, Goulet, and Lemieux ready on a faceoff. Back off against Gretzky. Gretzky the draw. Back on the point. Shot is up high over top of the net as Crossman let it go. Soviets clear it. Here's Crossman to Paul Coffey. He cleared it. Soviets hustling back to touch the bucket. It's going to be icing against Canada. And now the pressure on Canada with a big face off in their end of the ring. Well, we'll see how the Soviets send out for the, this face off. They make the changes. They're well aware of the we watch taken off on the bench, Soviet Union. See the big guy standing behind him. I asked Igor Dmitriev. Who the fittest guy and the strongest guy on his team? The guy standing right behind Tikhonov is the trainer. He's been coming here for years. And he says, that guy is the strongest guy on our team. <laughs> Here's Samak, who scored the overtime winner in Montreal on the faceoff, and Messier wins the draw. Bork has it for Canada. Bork trying to move it out of there, dropping it back with a little pass to Anderson. Now to Gartner. Gartner moving in. Gartner shoots. That was shaking the save. But no chance as he throws that. And Anderson went barging in to try and get a loose puck. I think in this overtime you're going to see a lot of whistles. We went long stretches where the play was con constantly in. But here Bielashakin's not going to take any chances. He just covers it up. Really with a man of his own right there. But with Team Canada moving in. So you've had a couple of icings. We've had about four whistles here in the first minute and 29 seconds of the period. And of course each time a whistle comes, each team makes a change. Canada sending out Gretzky, Lemieux, and Goulet. Soviets counter with Imchinov. Priyakin and Kubalev. Soviets have got the last change here as the home team, but they don't bother matching. And I asked again Dmitriev, who has become the spokesman rather than Tikhonov for the hockey club, I said, have you ever tried to kind of match lines? He says, yes, we tried. At one point in the first game, we tried, and every time we tried, Denine, or Keenan rather, sent Gretzky out. So he says, we just gave up. Now Gretzky comes to talk to the referee about something. That was Dmitriev, by the way, you saw in the foreground of the picture on the bench. Some say he will eventually be the head coach of the Soviet national team, which I guess will make things a lot easier on we, the reporting staff, because he speaks German fluently and some English. Here's Gretzky against Nimchina, deep in the Soviet zone. They played a minute 29 of overtime, and they're going to toss them chin off out of there. And they'll have to send in someone else to take the face off. That's the Swedish linesman we have, Sven Olaf Lundström. And he's not putting up with any nonsense. Bumalap against Gretzky. Gretzky the draw into the corner, but Lemieux was going the other way. And then Chinov breaks out for the Soviets. Broken up by Crossman. Flipped back near the Soviet line. Kasatonov is there. And Priyakin dumps it in for the Soviet Union. Paul Coffey back to get it. Demario Lemieux held in at the point by Batisov. Again, Batisov holding it in, but now carrying up is Michelle Goulet. Goulet scooping it in. And then Goulet gets checked from behind, and he's shaken up. No 
sign of a penalty being called, but Goulet is injured. He got a stick across the face as he unloaded the shot into the corner, and he just went down like he'd been poleaxed. You know, when you get a stick around the eyes like this, just checking on, looked like it rode up on him. There it is. Took it right across the face. And so. Checking to see if uh, all of the ivories are there or not. It was Priyakin who got the stick up on Gula, number 22. That's one of those plays where you're checking and trying to hook and interfere with the player. It happens sometimes. Everything seems to be there. Now Messier back out there with Anderson and Gartner. Base off at the Soviet line. The Soviets big five out there. Larry on off the car off and crew top with Batis off and Kasatonov off on defense. Canada shoot it in. Kasatonov trying to clear it. Bork pinching in. Bork shot blocked and the Soviets get it to crew top. Crew top working in. And a good defensive play by Murphy to break it up. And here's Anderson into center ice to Messier. He gets tied up and Bork circles back for Canada. Bork clearing it into center, into the Soviet zone, and Kasatonov is back after it. He's checked by Gartner. It's not back of the net, but Petisov is there. And here come the Soviets. Krutov to Lariana. Murphy tips it away for Canada. Messier took a man out of the play, and here's Anderson. Anderson ahead to Messier, call back on a two-line offside pass. There's Marc Messier, a monumental figure. If I were going to pick one player who has been there every game from the opening bell to this point in the tournament, it would be Marc Messier. This is the eighth game of the tournament. He has played every shift the same way. We mentioned earlier in the telecast how intimidating he is. Here are the Soviets with a long shot. You're handling it, and Coffey has it for Canada. Coffey out to Lemieux. To Gretzky. Gretzky breaking in with Howard Chuck. Pass to Howard Chuck. Just tipped by the Soviet defense. Bekov back the other way. Two on two break. Bekov trying to go around Coffey. Slides it in front. Still loose at the side of the goal. Now back of Team Canada's net. And Canada come up with it. And here's Lemieux getting it out of the zone. Soviets with Kamiensky. To Homotov. He's checked by Lemieux. Lemieux is too well tied up, and here's Kamiensky. Moves in, shoots, pure a save on Kamiensky, and then Crossman cleared it up over the glass as we approach the four-minute mark of overtime. Very tense here in the Cops Coliseum in Hamilton. 5-5 in overtime. A little closer to the vest now. Each team afraid to make a mistake. Watch people like Crossman's just sitting down there having big, big games. Team Canada with a chance here. Gretzky trying to feed it across. I don't know whether he should have taken the shot, but that defenseman was down, and he's the one that deflected it. I think Gretzky could see the play, and Howard Chuck on the other side but never got the puck. Sutter winning a faceoff gets it to Gilmore, who can't he can't get it out. Well, Mackin trying to center, and Rochefort has it for Canada. Team Canada trying to break it out of there. Patrick into center ice to Sutter. Sutter check. It's knocked back in. And Rochefort goes back for Canada. Firing it out on the boards to Brent Sutter. He missed it. And Semyonov will have to chase back. Semyonov, number 30, fires it to center. Patrick knocks that down. Rochefort comes out and makes a play. Now Gilmore takes a man out of the play. And here's Sutter. But Semyonov intercepts his pass. Firing it back in, and Murphy goes back to get it. Larry Murphy. Carrying into center ice. Fires it in. Batisov is there to clear it. Now held in by Gilmore. Lomakin getting it. And the Soviets break out. Into center ice. Humalak. A long shot. Muir got a piece of it. It ricocheted to the corner. Now Manchinov holding it in, but Bork is there to clear it. Lumalev held it in, into the corner. Priyakin can't center it, and Bork has it for Canada. Bork to Messier, just missed him with it. Soviets Priyakin, shoot it back in. Murphy is there. Off the boards to Gartner. 
Gartner to Anderson. Glenn Anderson into center ice. To Gartner. Shot it in. Soviets clear it right back out. Kasatona into center ice to Makara. He played it off the boards. And Canada's Crossman back to clear it. Larry Onoff lets it go to Fatisop. Shot blocked. Now Gretzky trying to break out. Just missed Lemieux with a quick outlet pass. And down the ice it goes. Masatonov trying to clear one. Poppy breaks it up. Over to Goulet. Goulet for Canada. Giving it to Gretzky in front to Lemieux. Rebound Gretzky. It's knocked off the puck. And Kasatonov has it for the Soviets to Makara. Mario Lemieux for Canada. Flips it back in. Batisov there to pick it up. Now up to Lariana. Ed Manning at the Kasatonov. Soviets move in. Here's a chance. Centered. Kjur makes a rebound. Kjur stopped that too from Krutov, who twice just about ended this game. Oh, the defense got caught. And I think that the Soviets can be accused of getting a little too fancy on the play. Krutov had the best chance. Here we come. Kazatonov. There's the pass across the goal mark by Larionov when he might have been able to shoot himself. And then the backhand shot, but Fjord down. But Fjord never seems to lose track of the puck. Even down, he's looking at it, concentrating, and knocking it out of midair and putting his glove on it. You. Dear Diary, today it's raining and I'm sad. If people only knew the true me, and not the so-called nasty defenseman, they never see the master horticulturist, the feng shui artist, or the man who never turns away a stray dog. Because underneath the tough hockey player exterior, there's a sensitive boy trying to get out. Howard Chuck getting into position. It's Sutter, Gilmore, and Howard Chuck for Canada. Beckoff wins the draw. Gilmore back of his own net. Gilmore flipped it, knocked down by Homatop. Centered it out in front. Still loose, another shot. And Fjord had to come up big again. Centered once more. There is a shot. Gilmore blocks that. Sutter for Canada. Trying to clear it to Howard Chuck. Howard Chuck breaking in on right wing. Has Gilmore with him. Gives it to Gilmore. Shoots. Double shake into his knees. The stop, Doug Gilmore. And then a big pileup. Well, Canada has only had the three shots in the period now, but they have been three pretty good chances. Nice little drop pass there. Howard Chuck to Gilmore. Mentioned how Gilmore played in that third period. Still very much involved. Now a big face off down on the Soviet end. We played 629 of overtime. And Canada sending out a new line. Gretzky, Lemieux, and Gula. Semyonov will take the face off here for the Soviets. Sudden death overtime. If Canada wins, we have a third game. If the Soviets win, they win the 1987 version of the Canada Cup. Semyonov against Gretzky. Off to the left of the Soviet goal. Here's Lemieux getting it, chips it into the other corner. Lemieux in to get it again to Gretzky, out in front for Gretzky. Back to Crossman. Shoots one, Bello shaking the save. Goulet the rebound, Gretzky couldn't get to the puck as Padotov tied him up. And the Soviets then clear it out of there. Coffee going back. Close call there for Canada. Coffee to Crossman. To Goulet at center. Michelle Goulet moving in. Tied up by Patotop. Goulet to the corner. In comes Lemieux. And Canada forced another faceoff in the Soviet zone. Get those faceoffs down there. That's what they're trying to do. Now off the faceoff, they had that good sequence. Now they'll try it from this side of the ice. Go 
Goule piling into the corner after that puck. But everybody's playing it tough right now. Goule running his man in against the boards. That uh, was Karbukin, who the oldest guy on the Soviet team at 31. Now Gilmore, Howard Chuck, and Brent Sutter for Canada. Face off. One by Gilmore to Howard Chuck to copy. Fires it into the corner. Batisov is there. Howard Chuck checks him. Now to Gilmore, but he had been knocked down behind the net. Soviets on the boards. Gilmore centers. Intercepted by Humalap, and now Batisov clears to center. Crossman back to get it. Crossman to Howard Chuck. This is Sutter with it into the other corner. Priyakin back for the Soviets. Priyakin checked in the play as Howard Chuck moves in into Brent Sutter. Sutter trying to center. Round of the boards. Coffee pinching in. Coffee into the corner. Couldn't get it back. And Kasatonov clears it out of there down the ice. Canada's Murphy going back. He's going to let Coffee play the puck, and it's icing against the Soviets. And another faceoff in the Soviet zone. Messier on the faceoff with Larry on off. Soviets come up with it, and Karutov beats Makarov. He gets to center. Anderson tying him up, and Canada take control. Lead pass to Gartner. He moves in, and Gusarov took him out of the play. On to the other side, Stelno flipping it out, and Krutov just clears it down the ice. With Bork back for Canada. We're in sudden death overtime as Bork carries to center to Mike Gartner. Gartner speeding in, cuts in front, branches into the goaltender. A Messier knocked down, and Krutov cleared it right in front of his own net. But the Soviets are there and come to center. Here's Krutov getting the return pass, leaving it for Makarov. Check from behind by Anderson. Back comes Gartner. Gartner to Messier. He tips it in. Handed a change on the fly. Soviets Lariana flipping it into center. Here's Makarov. Trying to get away from Gulai. Does Makarov. Checked by Lemieux from behind. Lemieux stays with him. Makarov loses to Lemieux. And Mario Lemieux feeds Gretzky. Gretzky into Gulai. Gulai to Lemieux. Lemieux can't get turned around, now does behind the net to Gretzky. Knocked away from Gretzky, and breaking out for Dota. To Homatop, number 15. Homatop stick handling brilliantly. Ross to Kaminsky, shooting right on. And Fuhr the save, and back the other way. Lemieux with Dula. Two on two break. Lemieux, cruising, looking to center, does. Deflected and went wide. And Bekov has it for the Soviets. Here's Kaminsky. Loses it. Gretzky back in with Howard Chuck. Howard Chuck trying to center to Sutter. Still at the side of the net. Loose and Kaminsky. Back for the Soviets. To Bekov. Broken up and Coffey takes over for Canada. Paul Coffey streaking down left wing. Coffey shoots up high over the glass. Oh. How long can this go on? Team Canada with its life on the line as a team. They lose this game and it breaks up and they head to their own training camps and they're playing like it. Paul Coffey, nobody is more exciting in the NHL on an end-to-end -end rush than Paul Coffey these days. Over the line and there's the shot. It's deflected. That's on goal in overtime. Favor the Soviets 9 to 3. That's deceptive, Dan. I think that their the play has been a little closer than that. Canada's had three excellent scoring chances, the sh three shots. Sutter, Gilmore, and Prop up front for Canada. From the face off, Gilmore gets it, flips it in front. Prop couldn't get to it. Prop behind the net. Now comes in front, Gilmore. Knocked off the puck, and the Soviets break out of there. Number 18, Samak, who scored the winner in game one. Taken out of the play by Patrick. Prop knocking it back of the net. And Rochefort has it for Canada. Soviet Semyonov knocked it back of the net. And here is Prop out to James Patrick. Patrick flipping it in. Vasatonov back to get it for the Soviets. 
right up the middle was the pass to Semyonov. Soviets breaking in Semyonov. Rossport ties him up and Gretzky there to clear it up. Canada get it into center ice. Same act losing it. Here's Gusara. It's the linesman with it. Soviets pick it up. Lomakin going in. Lomakin tied up by Rossport. And Mario Lemieux tries to flip it up. But Tisop held it in. Back of the net goes Murphy. Larry Murphy for Canada. To prop who dumps it in. Yellow shaken, leaving it there. Stelno has it for the Soviets. Into center ice. Chance for Humalap off the glass. Rebound. Oh, and that's fired wide by Priyakin with Fjord down and out of position. Here's Priyakin again, feeding it to Humalap. Back to Priyakin, missed him. Canada trying to break down, but it's fired back in by the Soviets. Soviets just had two great chances. Here comes Coffee for Canada. Tried to clear it in, intercepted Makarov trying to break away. Gartner tied him up. And now Gretzky takes over for Canada. Gretzky down right wing to Doug Crossman. Goes in, shoots, Bello shaking the save. Larianov cleared the rebound. Soviets with Perbukin clearing it to center to Makarov. Makarov trying to stick handle in. Does, centered it. No one there comes to Perbukin. Fired it behind the net. And Bork flips it to Glenn Anderson. Anderson for Canada to Murphy. Round on the boards to Bork. Seven and a half minutes left in the first overtime. Here's Bork to Anderson, picked up by Messier. He's checked, and Bork has it and flips it in. Racing in to get it is Anderson. Anderson shoots, Bello shaking the save. Rebound, poked at by Sutter, but Bello shaken, able to freeze it. Now Larianov against Messier deep in Canada's end of the ring. They played two and a half minutes of the second overtime period. They say a pick is illegal. It's interference in effect because the man doesn't have the puck. Canada control from the faceoff. Glenn Anderson. Got it into the center ice area. Larry on off to Makarov. Makarov number 24. Makarov trying to go around Murphy. Murphy tied him up. Makarov still after it. But just left there and Bork able to clear it out to Anderson to Messier. Messier to Gartner. Gartner breaking in on right wing. Centered it out in front. Oh, and Anderson just missed. Coffee a drive. Bello shaking a stick save on that. And then the Soviets will ice the puck. And Canada will get another face off at the Soviet end of the rink. Well, not only are you seeing history being made in terms of this game in international hockey, but you may have seen some history here of the number of times the Soviets have iced the puck in this overtime. They are just looking to take the pressure off any time they can. Great effort by Gartner on Fatisov. He got that puck in front. But it just never got to the man coming to the net. Gartner's speed is his main weapon. And a terrific slap shot. Gretzky, Prop, and Lemieux for Canada. Coffee and Kent and Crossman on defense. Back off on the face off with Gretzky. Gretzky gets it to Lemieux. Lemieux stick handling. Tried to get it to Gretzky. In front to Prop. Shot. Stick save. Bellow shaken. Prop didn't get good wood on the shot. Now back to the goal. Prop trying to center. Lemieux taken out by Gusarov. Soviet trying to clear it. Held in. Crossman to Gretzky. Gretzky back to Crossman. Goes in. Shooting on. Bellow shaken. A glove save. And he held on to it, and then Prop and Big Stelno almost get into it, and Mike Keenan can't believe that that one didn't go into the net. Well, he had the clear path. Good shot, but you needed a little more coverage in front of that net. Here it comes. Crossman will just tee it up, and as he does so, he saw it all the way. Stelno kept one prop off to the side, and those are the ones that a goaltender is supposed to stop. Now a late change for Canada. Crossman goes to the bench. Murphy out to team up with Coffee on the bench. Same forward line. 
Gretzky, Lemieux, and Kropp up front. Semyonov against Gretzky. Puck comes to Murphy at the point. His shot blocked. Soviets clear it quickly to center. Coffee hustling over. Tips it away. Now Seamat trying to carry in, but Murphy knocked it down, and here's Lemieux. Mario Lemieux moving in. That's tied up on the play. Gretzky tried to hold it in, but Samak now breaks up. To Semyonov. Over to Priyakin, back to Semyonov. Leaves it for Samak. Shoots wide on the short side. And it's cleared by Crossman to Prop. To Lemieux. Couldn't scoop it to Gretzky, who was open on the right side. Canada, Howard Chuck trying to attack. Now back up Samak. Moving in on right wing, there's that quick shot of his. You're the save. Copy for Canada to Gretzky. Gretzky trying to stick handle through. Good. Samak has it to Lomakis. Mario Lemieux took him out of the play. And it's Crossman for Canada. Now Lemieux clearing it, intercepting it. Casa Tona to Humalap. Now to Nimchina. He's checked. Humalap and Bork fight for it. Bork cleared it to Howard Chuck and Howard Chuck. Into center ice, misses Sutter with it. Soviets come right back. Pumala to Priyakin. There's Fjord out of the net. Now Murphy without a stick. This slides it ahead to Gilmore, and we'll get a stoppage. Well, Mario Lemieux fighting off one hand. Now look at this little move. And he just got grabbed from behind, and then he grabbed in return. Never seen an international game with so much holding. But referee Paul Cat uh, Campbell is just going to let them play here. He's not going to call any penalties. Why does he keep things to Paul Stewart, rather? Here's Messier trying to break down left wing. He's checked. Soviets flip it in, racing in. Bumalap trying to get it back to the net now. A loose puck back there. The Soviets, Makarov trying to get it. Here's Truta. Tied up by Bork. Look at that battle. It's out in front. A backhander and pure. A save on Karutov, who just about ended this game in this series. Well, that's why Karutov's the best player in Europe. You saw a perfect example of just how much he wants the puck and how much he wants to score. Great battle. Here's a great view of it, too, as he comes out from behind the net and got a good backhand away, and that was after a long battle along the boards with Raymond Bork. He managed to get away from Bork, and get out in front. We've now had a total of 100 shots in this game at both goaltenders. And it's tied at five. They've played five minutes, 32 seconds of sudden death in the second overtime period. So we played 25, 32 of overtime. Larian off against Messier deep in the Team Canada zone. Buck is flipped out by Gartner. Here's Gartner trying to barge by Patisop, gets some help from Anderson, but Patisop held his ground, broke it up. Crossman shoots it in. Messier in. Tassatona cleared it. Here's Anderson shooting. Bello shaking the save. Patisop losing it. Gartner behind the net to Messier. Out in front. Gartner shoots. Off the skate of Bello shaking. And then off the post. Here's Coffee a drive. Marker in front. Couldn't get it over top of the fallen goaltender. Soviets come back. Karuta. Messier ties him up. Back on Canada. To Gartner on right wing. Breaks in. Shoots. And Bello Shaken came out and made the save on that. Asatona trying to clear it. Prop held it in. To Gretzky. Gretzky behind the net. Bello Shaken poked in the crease and then cleared away by Makara. Bello Shaken had no idea where it was. Now Gretzky upending Makara. And Patrick comes up with the puck. Knocked away from him. Rochmore has to go back. Demietsky around. It comes to Prop. Now to Lemieux. Lemieux trying to go around to Sara. Lemieux backhander. Love save. Bello shaken on Mario Lemieux. The catalyst in all of that was Mike Gartner. The best sequence for Team Canada in the overtime. About three times they nearly they scored, nearly scored. Lemieux is a deceptive skater. Look at the way he got the jump on Gusarov 
and got that de defenseman going out around him and got a good backhand away. What a sequence involving Gartner around that net. And listen to this crowd in Hamilton. Face off won by the Soviets. Gusara trying to work it out. Oh, and Prop just about knocked it down, but it got through his glove. Rossmore back to get it into center ice to Lemieux. Now to Prop. Drops it to Rossmore. They flipped it ahead to Prop, who hit the linesman as he tried to clear it in. Omatov couldn't get anywhere, and here's Gusarov firing it in for the Soviets. Pure out of the net. Shoots it up on the boards, held in by Stelno. Shot, that's blocked at the defense. Patrick now battling with Lomakin for the puck. And Patrick just fell on it, and we get a stoppage. We played 7.22 of the second overtime period. Samak and Sutter. Sutter wins the draw, and Canada able to clear the zone. The Dotov to Semyonov. He backhands it in. Murphy back for Canada. Around to Bork. Out to Sutter. And he just deflected it into center ice. Soviets come right back. Same act stick handling in. Bork breaks it up, trying to clear it. It's Sutter with it. Canada can't get it out of there. Bork broke it up. Now Same act closing in, centered. And Sutter blocked that from Samyana. Buck back of the goal. Sutter trying to get it free. And Canada with Murphy finally lob it high to center ice. Semyonov for the Soviets. Lead pass. Womackin in the clear. Shoots pure. Big save. On Womackin, it was in alone. And then Canada clear up to center. Masatona to Nemchina. Pure comes out of the net. Feeds it up on right wing to Gardner. Now back to get it. Batisov flips it in and Crossman goes back. Brosman off the boards to Messier. He couldn't get it out, but Gartner did chop it into center ice. Now then Chinoff banged into the boards by Anderson. You're setting it up for Crossman. Crossman to Mark Messier, leaving it for Gartner. Gartner gets checked at center ice. And here is Lariana. Stick handling, drops it to Fatisov. This pass over on right wing, and Larionov just scoops it in. They played nine minutes of the second overtime period. Crossman for Canada. Pass misses Prop. Kasatonov back to get it to Karuta. Here's Makarov. Makarov to Kasatonov. Moving in. Through the defense. Pulled out, and Pure able to grab the puck. And hold on. If this was the first period, there might be a penalty there, Ron. There might be. There will be no penalties. As it's taught off with a great rush. I think he's the better rusher of the two, uh, Fatisov and Kazatonov, but he just got grabbed from behind by Crossman, pulled off the puck. And as it changed speed on Fuhr, it made it a bit of a tester for him. He's ready, waiting for a shot. All of a sudden, he had to reach for it. This guy's a torn off. The guy with a lot of experience. Drafted by the New Jersey Devils, as was Patisov. Here's Lemieux against Beckoff. Canada get it. Prop failed to clear it. Back into the corner for Lemieux. Around in the boards to Gretzky. Gretzky does get it out of there. Prop to center ice. Leaves for Lemieux. Here's Big Mario, but Kaminsky was there to check in. Murphy. Over to Bork. Bork with a long shot. And Bello Shaken stopped that. Kamiensky, who tied this game up, comes to center. Tries to flip it in and does. Bork going back for Canada. Here's Ramo Bork. Bork into Gretzky. Gretzky cutting in. Centers to Lemieux. Shot it wide. Drops behind the net. Out to Murphy. Murphy to Gretzky. Hit the post. Rebound.
Murphy. Zagretzky. Telemieux. And Yahoo. I'll tell you, if for no other reason than we get to see these two teams play one more time. Seven seconds of overtime with these two great teams and the two greatest forwards in the game wind up getting the winning goal. Murphy there. Gretzky got a good shot. Got it back. Ladies and gentlemen, the box office at Cops Coliseum will be open at 9.30. Assists for Wayne Gretzky in this game, including on the game winner by Mario Lemieux, his third of the night. The last five goals he insisted on in a 6 5 Canada victory. Series tied, game three here in Hamilton, Tuesday night. This is the Levant Canada Cup on CTV.